Time to look at some tape on the offensive line with Mizzou's offensive line coach, Glenn Ellerby, and we're talking about Hiron White. He comes from DeSoto, Texas, and uh, we were just talking off camera. That's a program that really churns out players that are ready to go, and, and his development coming into college is second to none, really, right? Absolutely. I mean, number one, they won the state championship this year at the highest level of uh, Texas high school football, so they must be doing something <laughs> right. Uh, number two, you get a chance to really sit down and talk football with Hiron. He understands where the defense is going, why they're doing it, just a lot of little intricacies that you don't normally get out of a high school football player. Well, let's take a look at some of the tape, and, and this is a kid who is built 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, knocking on the door of 300 pounds, and let's see how he uses it on the field. No question. Uh, and I think the biggest thing you will gain with Hiron is, uh, you know, he, he's 6'6", six, six, he's 297, just like you said, and he looks skinny. I mean, he looks almost uh, like he'd weigh 240 pounds. And you watch here, a guy that big able to move in a short space that quickly and generate power uh, is pretty unique, pretty special. Besides that, when you see him there at the end of the play, the guy has a great mean streak. I mean, he really enjoys violence, finishing a guy, uh, playing the, you know, to the whistle, trying to see if he can't bury every single uh, opponent he goes against. Um, Again, I think he also has a great ability. You can see here in such a short space, he can generate a lot of power very quickly. And again, for a guy that he's going to show up on our campus uh, at 297, well, by the end of the summer, he'll be 320, 325. And now you've got a 6'6", 320-pound offensive lineman that knows the game of football immediately. Um, and you kind of watch this clip too. Another thing that's really great about hiring uh, it may not look like that's very difficult to do, but when you're 6'6", 295, and you're going full speed one way and able to stick your foot in the ground, redirect, and come off on a linebacker, that's pretty unique for a high school player. Talk about his ceiling for his size and being able to put on weight and, and get in even better shape, but uh, what about the ceiling for, for technique and then also putting that all together and, and just his overall development? No doubt. And you'll see a couple of these clips later on uh, where He's in pass protection. He's not really where he needs to be quite yet on moving his feet and those type things. But at the same time, you can tell he gets out of position and he's so athletic, able to get himself right back into a good football position. Um, and some of those clips are kind of coming up here shortly. So it, there's a lot that, uh, I hate to use the term meat on the bone, but there's so much growth for him. It, it's really uh, impressive. This is kind of one of those clips that, you know, there's a, he has the ability, you can just watch him play, that he can move his feet. He is a twitchy individual. He gets beat on his edge, and again, you watch, you go, hey, man, that, that, his ability to get from a bad position to a good position and still protect the quarterback, that's something when you're watching kind of catches your eye. Taller offensive linemen are coming, starting to become a little bit more common. Where do you work with guys in terms of technique when they get 6'4", 6'5", 6'6"? I mean, do they have adjustments that they have to make? Uh, sure, a little bit. Sometimes in their stance and different things like that, you may have to uh, widen a stance or you know elongate it and kind of help them there. And um, the good news is because they are so big and long, you know, there's a little tweak here and there. But those, that length of his arms and be able to keep guys away from him, and those pass rushers that are elite guys on the edge, he's able to do some things that you know a short armed or a shorter limb guy couldn't do. Um, I thought this clip was really a great example. We were talking earlier about how he could generate power in such a short space. He's you know, working up to the backer and there was a tight shot on this, but you can just see immediately when he uncoils his hips whoop, right there, he's got a lot of burst, a lot of power that um, typically you don't see a big guy like him would be able to do. And you were talking earlier about the mindset and the attitude, and that's gotta be big for an offensive line, especially a young guy coming and trying to play right no away. No question. There's a, I probably can't say it on the TV show, but we had several conversations about the way they counted their knockdowns. He had a specific term for it, and uh, he was very prideful about it. And the, you know, you get in the meeting room with him, and you just start talking about grabbing guys and freaking burying them and putting them on the ground and intensity, and his eyes light up. As he's a he's a quiet kid by nature, but when you start talking about football and violence, it's like the bell goes off, and that's a, that's a beautiful thing. Um, besides that, I mean, again, you think about where he is athletically, a guy his size, that fluid, pulling around, able to keep his feet, um, do those type of things. And just, again, uh, when the camera stops there quickly and you see the length of his arms, um, man, he's going to be a special player for us. Well, that's Mizzou offensive line coach Glenn Ellerby breaking down the latest film from another edition from Mizzou's Rich Texas Pipeline, Hiron White, coming up from DeSoto. Coach, thanks. Thank you.